Blame Truth here, the COD father himself, bringing you guys another video, uh, coming from a new PC here, so if I'm a little, um, if I sound a little weird, or something's off, growing pains, I just got a brand new rig to game on, but, um, you know, I, I kind of feel like I wasted my money, truthfully, because in this particular video, as we talk over the amazing Thick Glutes gameplay on Black Ops 2 here, I, I, I feel like we are in the worst state in, in gaming history. Chime in below if you think we are also in the worst state in gaming history. I, I truthfully want to hear your guys' opinions here because maybe I'm just an old head. Maybe I'm just a disgruntled veteran. Maybe I am just an angry, crabby bastard. I, I don't know, man. But are we or are we not in the worst state in, in modern gaming history? I'm not really talking about indie games. I think that indie games are still coming out with bangers. Um, and a lot of stuff can kind of break the mold like Elden Ring like Resident Evil 4 just recently but overall I think we are just in a horrendous state at least as long as I've been alive I'm 34 years old I've been gaming since I was three years old so I have 30 years three decades of experience here I just think we're in the worst fucking state we've ever been in I, I really do look at this from modern war zone before we get into the meat and potatoes here uh, the gaming industry has a widespread problem when it comes to major publishers knowingly releasing completely broken games and products, then releasing shitty apologies shortly after they've made their money from initial sales. Jedi Survivor is the latest in this trend, and underneath this, I actually wrote that, uh, never forget, no one should ever forget when Activision and the devs for every single Call of Duty studio essentially broke every active Call of Duty game. I remember making that video and losing my voice screaming because they managed to break four different fucking games, I'm pretty sure. It was Vanguard, Cold War, Modern Warfare 2019, and Warzone. They broke them all in one fell swoop, one untested update, one untested patch. It is ridiculous. Never forget that, by the way. And then, guess what? A year later, we get Modern Warfare Deuce! This unfinished piece of shit that's lacking a combat record. You know, like, lacking basic features, lacking... Content lacking content even from just three years ago with Modern Warfare 2019. It, it makes no sense. I don't know what else to say, man. I wish I could bring you guys a positive video. I know people get sick of me, quote unquote, making the same video over and over. Those same fucking morons, though, that say that will buy the same goddamn Call of Duty game over and over. Yeah, that's, that's not even necessarily true. They're buying a lesser version of a Call of Duty game they bought before and then getting excited when they rehash the same content we've been seeing for 10, 15 years now. I don't know if people are just stupid. I don't know if people just don't have anything better to do. I don't know if the casual players that Activision and the Call of Duty devs are marketing their games to are really just the, the dumbest of the dumb. If if you did this, if you did what Activision did a year ago and broke four games with like an update, let's say even 15 years ago, guess what guys? There wouldn't be a Call of Duty today. It would have been a laughing stock if, if they did that on Call of Duty 4 or Modern Warfare 2 the original or something like that. Release some update that like completely broke not only Modern Warfare 2 but broke COD 4, broke World at War, broke Black Ops 1, you know, all these different active Call of Duty games. The community would have collectively came together and told Activision, it's time for you to fuck off. They would have said that, and then uh, we would have went back to playing Halo 3 or Gears of War 3 or whatever else was popular at the time, shooter-wise. There wouldn't be a Call of Duty, pretty much. Now, though, it's so big, it's like, oh, well, this is broken for a month, whatever, I'm still gonna play it while I, you know, toke on my fucking watermelon vape juice and uh, lower my testosterone levels by ingesting microplastics. That's what we got nowadays. That's what we got nowadays. That's the modern gamer. They just, um, they're used to getting kicked in the nuts and asking for more and saying, uh, mommy milky on Twitter or whatever. So here we're, here, here we are. Here we are. This is the current state of things. It gets worse though, because Activision and Infinity Ward did something else today. And I need to cover it because it's, it's one of the most disgusting things I've ever seen, whether it's intentional or not. And we don't really know because these motherfuckers do not communicate. They haven't communicated since... I was going to say Modern Warfare 2019, but that's not true. We had uh, Ashton the Mind Williams as the community manager, and the bitch don't speak. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, before we get into it, though, I want to get a brief word from this video's sponsor in, and I'll be back in a sec. 
Today's video is sponsored by AG1. I've been taking AG1 for several months now, and most recently it came in very handy because I was incredibly sick, and AG1 kept my body nutritionally balanced. It kept everything working as far as uh, it being a probiotic as well as a nutritional beverage, and it kept away the brain fog and kept me energized even when I was very fatigued. I can't overstate how incredibly sick I was, and as you can see here, AG1 is nutritionally complete. It will keep your body working in tip top form not only that but it tastes great it's a subtle vanilla flavor that i can mix with other stuff if i want or just drink straight so guys go to athleticgreens.com slash codfather for a free one year supply of vitamin d and five travel packs free with your first purchase again that's athleticgreens.com slash codfather for a free one year supply of vitamin d and five travel packs free with your first purchase all right, guys, welcome back to the video here. So what is the big stink today? It's it's always something. There's no new content, really. There's nothing to get excited for with the actual game. It's just covering disappointments until they decide to drip feed us some teasers for the next shitty Call of Duty. And then we get excited and we tend to forget everything that you know they did wrong to us in the previous years, but I digress. Uh, what did they do? Well, they fucked up DMZ. Yeah, so DMZ. Now, <laughs> they've been releasing pay-to-win bundles already for it, which is already really bad because as far as I'm aware, uh, it's still in beta. It's still not like an official thing. It's supposed to be the free-to-play kind of... Uh, extraction shooter mode, which honestly I, I thought was a win. I'm not really into it. I think it's a little boring, but uh, you know, whatever. Like some people like that, and I'm like, okay, it's cool. It's free to play. I get it. Then they add in the pay to win bundles, and I'm like, oh my god, what's happening? It gets worse though. Here's what they did today. According to reports and Activision support, says Charlie Intel, Infinity Ward quietly updated Building 21 and DMZ to no longer be accessible unless you purchased Modern Warfare 2. Mm hmm. But it gets worse. It gets worse. He also tweets that Activision support says Building 21 requires Modern Warfare 2 to purchase, but Infinity Ward Trello Board says it's a bug. Not too sure who to believe, as Infinity Ward is not clear with their communications. Wow, that's a nice jab. So Activision saying one thing, Infinity Ward saying another thing, and let's not forget here, let's not forget, I don't have the screenshots on hand, sadly, but let's not forget, back in Modern Warfare 2019, when Ashton the Mime Williams was the communications manager, who didn't really communicate, but that's beside the point, uh, in, the, in the few instances she did communicate, she lied to us. Her and Joe Sack got both. Uh, the community was clamoring for like an overhaul of Modern Warfare 2019 when it came out because, well, it played like shit. It played like Modern Warfare 2, pretty much, in the whole, you know, with the whole stupid, like, no red dots on the minimap, dead silence is a field upgrade, it's slow, it's campy, there's a bunch of fucking doors, all this stupid, slow, campy, safe space bullshit. People wanted a gameplay overhaul. People were demanding it, you know, back when MW 2019 came out and was out. And uh, eventually, Ashton Williams said, Hey, we hear you. A big update, a big overhaul update's coming out, guys. Like, it's coming out. And then, like, two weeks later, Joe Secott, th these people work together, by the way. Joe Secott says, uh, The overhaul was like a rumor to just get, like, attention or something like that. We're not overhauling the game. Also, we're, we're updating everything. Okay, bye. Yeah. One dev said, hey, we hear you, we're overhauling stuff. The other dev says, like, no, that's bullshit. That's not happening. No. Who, like, how is the communication this fucking bad? We have more means. We have more means than ever to communicate properly. Like, we have social media, we have text messaging, we have WhatsApp, we have, you know, Slack. All this stuff to communicate properly among the dev teams. Maybe it's just an over, over... I guess convoluted workplace. There's 3,000 devs. The chain of command's got to be all fucked up there. Activision don't really care. There's no actual testing going on with these updates. I don't know. And quite frankly, I don't give a shit anymore. I'm sick of it. I am sick every single week reading something else they have fucked up. I don't even play the game. I I'm not touching Call of Duty until the next shitty one, and and I'll be honest with you guys, I might not even fucking buy it. I might just get a, a gameplay guy to give me gameplay on it, because it's going to be Sledgehammer. And we all know how Vanguard turned out. One of the worst games I've ever played. The game was a straight up insult to my existence, it was that bad. I'm out of time though, guys. Um, I don't know what else to say. What do you think about this news? 
this pay to win shit. Like if we don't call this out, I don't, I don't think you realize this. I've been doing this for the past four years now. You know, I've come back to YouTube and I've, I've, I've really just stuck my heels in the ground and I've said, hey, this is bullshit. If you don't call it out, it's going to get worse. Well, look what's fucking happening, man. It's getting worse. Can we please come together? Everyone, just just stop sucking this, this game's dick. Stop sucking Call of Duty's dick for a second and just say, hey, this is fucking bullshit. We demand better. Don't shut up. Don't stop talking about it. Keep it going. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Ring that notification bell. I want to suplex Joe Secott through a uh, cow. Peace out. Parting advice?